Douglas just might win it. Oh no, Spencer is pulling ahead. And it's over. After a few firing issues, Spencer has won the race. Amazing. Hello and welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and engines, to Rolf's Castle Station. And coming up next... A race sponsored by our dear friends at the Sodor Shipping Company. Let's see who we've got competing today. First up, it's Gordon, the Express Engine. And representing Team Diesel is the one and only Diesel Ted. Now before we get started, I have to ask, what exactly are both our competitors pulling? Those would be dynamometer cars. They're used to measure the engine's performance throughout the race, including their speed. Ah, very interesting, Stan. Now let's get this show on the road. I think you mean on the rails, Nigel. <laughs> oh, nice one, Stan. Nice one. On your marks. Get set. Go! And they're off. What an exciting event. And a rather spectacular view we're getting from our eye in the sky, Harold the Helicopter. <laughs> not so easy to keep up when I'm not pulling a heavy train, is it, Diesel 10? Ah! Ooh, and it looks like Gordon is pulling ahead. I suppose it is to be expected, Nigel. He is the express engine after all. Come on, Gordon. You can do it. Now what seems to be happening here, Stan? It looks like Diesel 10 is gaining on Gordon. Incredible! Just how is he doing it? Huh? You were saying, Gordon? <coughs> Stan, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I sure am, Nigel. Perhaps Diesel 10 should pull the Express in future. And he's still picking up speed. It should be impossible, but he must be going over a hundred miles per hour. That devious diesel, how's he doing it? And with the finish line in sight, it looks like Diesel 10 is going to be our winner. Oh, bother. Seems Diesel 10 has broken down. What a turnaround. And Gordon is the winner! What an incredible race! Simply fantastic, Nigel. Definitely one for the history books. I can't wait for the next one. What an exciting time to be on Sodor. Well done, Gordon. You've made us all very proud. Thank you, Edward. Although, I do wonder if you would have still won if Diesel 10 hadn't broken down? Ah, uh, well, of course I would have. I only let him get ahead to make the race more interesting for the audience. Oh yes, I see. Are you sure, Gordon? That's not what it looked like to me. Certain. Besides, it made my finish all the grander. Grand or not, you represented the steam team well. Thank you, Henry. What do you think, Percy? Well, Gordon is the fastest engine on Sodor. I don't see how Diesel 10 could beat Gordon in a race. Ha! <laughs> you sure did some damage to your engine, boss. You fool! You were supposed to just beat Gordon. Not show off like that. Excuse me? You sure are making a habit of letting the steam engines get the better of us. What exactly are you saying, Diesel? You know exactly what I'm saying, Diesel 10. I'm back! Here's the dino. Dino. Dino whatever cars, Diesel. Ah, good work, Paxton. Let's see the results. Looks like Diesel 10 managed to get up to 103 miles per hour to Gordon's 96. You were saying, Diesel? 
You still lost the race. But it seems that when used correctly, our new fuel is just what we need to put those stinky steamies to shame. <laughs> If Diesel 10 hadn't broken down, he would have won. He was too close to the finish line and too far in front of Gordon. But why would Gordon allow him to get that far ahead? That's just it. I don't think he did. I think Diesel 10 was actually going faster than Gordon's top speed. But that's impossible. Maybe. Maybe not. If only I could prove it either way. Didn't you say they were pulling dynamometer cars? They must have recorded both engines top speeds. Oh, that's right. You are clever, Annie. I'll have to go and find them at once. Hello, Percy. <sighs> oh, hello, Thomas. I figured out how we can check to see if Diesel 10 was really beating Gordon. You figured out? Oh, Annie figured it out. I'm going to Rolf's Castle Station now to find those dynamometer cars. Do you want to come? Uh, oh, of course. But I have to deliver these cars first. Can we go after? Oh, uh, sorry, Percy. I don't think we have the time. I'll have to go myself then. I'll tell you about it later. Hmm. That's strange. The dynamometer car should be here. Hello, Thomas! You look lost. You missing a coach? Two, actually. There's supposed to be a pair of dynamometer cars in this siding. Have you seen them? Aye, that wee diesel, Paxton, took them away last night. Paxton took them? The diesels must be up to something. Thanks for the help. I'll see you two later. Hey, Thomas! What's the rush? Sorry, I have to find those coaches. I'm telling you, Den, it's that special fuel that did it. It's bad for your engine. Oh, come on. It can't be that bad. Diesel 10 just overworked himself, that's all. If you say so. Anyway, let's get these parts. Special fuel? I wonder what that's about. There's the dynamometer cars. We should have taken these cars back to the sidings last night. I hope no one notices they were gone. <gasps> Quickly! Once this is done, we should focus on getting more... Thomas! Hello everyone! The Thomas Creator Collective would like to know which engines you'd like to see in future series. So please leave us a comment telling us which engine and why. Thanks for watching everyone! I don't have a driver or fireman! I can't stop! <laughs> <laughs>